Anyway, uh, wow, this is a great crowd. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great reading. Yeah. I feel really lucky to be here. I'm yeah. such a wonderful people. Thank you, Thea, for inviting me. Um, I'm not much for talking until after I read, so I get very nervous. I'm going to read this poem now first because of the poem that you read before. Barometer. I know you are not her, but what is your measure for a bad day? You've never seen a roof ripped off of a barn, sucked up in a vortex, a thousand black shingles like a whirlwind of ravens conjured in your name, all the expletives preceding. During the years of lightning in seasons, she twisted through my countryside with her slipshod picking up of precious things, dropped them all thoughtless slapdash into the lives of others. With you, I don't have to assess the aftermath, pile up the splintered boards, or sweep up broken glass. I pray we are all cumulus clouds and calm breezes. All I want is the amnesia of trees this spring. see me shake. All right. <laughs> this is called Mercy. If you ask me in person, I'll say I'm glad my mom is dead. But when I dream, I long for her grimace. I want her mouth open, tonsil big, shouting a window in the fuddle of grief. But I want her to shout through the broken glass, fist shattered by my 15-year-old dyke, not her daughter, severed ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I want her to shout through her family's Baptist, you're going to hell condemnations. To shout through her head shaken side to side, no, Lisa. I want to hear spittle, slobber flying as fists. I want her pounding glass with urgency, like the dream is filling with water. I want her, desperate even, if just to save herself. I really want to know, can you hear the sound of a daughter's hands on her mother's throat? Can you hear the mother say, you are my baby, always will be? Or do you hear her say, no daughter of mine? Do you leave it unexamined? Can you see us now? Without pry or pound, I need things from her mouth. But no one can hear I'm sorry before our mouths fill with water and become just warble and bubbles. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. but this is the shortest poem I've ever written. <laughs> it's not about my dead mom. <laughs> so. You ask, are the cars harnessing the wind? We watch the weeds, California poppies, shuttlecock flames dancing with your exhalation. My skin bumps. We kiss the clouds clear and the tangerine tops open their own winged lips. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, what the hell. All right. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Do it. <laughs> um, this is called Catharsis. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Each photo, lighter lit and set to embers, snapped apertures, struck faces strained. Cakes for ages, Christmas tree poses, the big gift held up like grandpa's big bass. The catch, a collapse like her casket calloways, one slow week of wilting, the finality of nothing you can do, cancer. A hot burn, a quick-tempered fuse, quietly releasing ultramarine, cyan, family history little hisses caving. 
each fluorescent saffron tipped birthday candle waiting for its never tell wish. Mm. Take time, but remember the quick amnesiac ease of plans. Try to name the colors in fire like there's a spell. Carmine, cinnabar, sienna, rust, repeat, mother, I raise to salvage you. Craning to the stars, watch ashes bluster, blow ancestral white kisses to the wind. Wait, agape, a bundled child catching her first place. same affected by her death poems but grief isn't fire can't be squelched by tears isn't fooled by bourbon's smoky sadism her echo is no longer a wind whip trees transferred from one town to another disaster I should shut up I am no longer every day thinking of her rough hands in the casket knowing the cruel never make peace. No longer motherless, I now know comfort in arms of consistency, softness in blue eyes. What I want now is fried chicken. Yes! <laughs> Mashed potatoes and good drugs. Yeah, yeah, and gravy, extra gravy. 